Robin. Welcome back to Real Kosher Family Living. I'm going to show you today how to make homemade electrolyte solution. You can use this if you're trying to get off of um, those high sugar sports expensive sports drinks. You can use this um, like me if you're going to be fasting. Um, Tuesday is a fast day. Monday night Tuesday is the 9th of Av. So um, I'm going to be fasting, and because I'm nursing, um, the fast is going to be very challenging. So I want to have this in the house ready for me when I'm done with the fast. Also, um, you can use this as a Pedialyte replacement, although you're going to have to make a couple, couple substitutions for children under the age of one. Um, and I'll tell you about that as we get into the recipe. So for this recipe, it's so easy. So easy. You're going to be astonished at how easy this is compared to what you pay for Pedialyte and sports drinks at the store. Okay, use four cups of water. Use your favorite water, whatever water you want to drink. High mineral, filtered, distilled, whatever it is you want to do. That's your water right there. Okay, uh, one quart of water. This makes one quart of solution. You can store this in the refrigerator. Um, the internet recipe that I'm getting this from says don't store it in the refrigerator more than 24 hours. I don't know why that is. If you know, write in the box. Tell me. Okay. A quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, bicarbonate of soda here. Here's that. Baking soda. A quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. You can use regular salt. I'm using sea salt because it's high in all kinds of wonderful minerals. And I want to get those back as well when I'm getting back my electrolytes. So that's that. And then two tablespoons of honey. This is raw honey. If you're making this for an infant under the age of one, you may not use honey. I'm very sorry. You may use seven teaspoons of sugar instead because honey can have um, botulism and infants' digestive tracts are not sophisticated enough to protect them from um, botulism found in honey. So, no honey for infants, please. All right, so there's the honey. Honey is water soluble. But you might not believe me when you make this for yourself because you have to stir and stir and stir and stir to get it to dissolve. Have patience. Keep stirring. I promise it will dissolve. I, it's water soluble. Really, really it is. Okay. Um, then also for flavor, you can add... Um, also, this will also provide a little bit more um, of potassium, I think, to the electrolyte solution. I'm going to add the juice of a one lemon or half a lemon is fine. Just put that lemon juice in there. If you're making this for children, again, use orange juice. And you go ahead and use a whole cup so that they'll drink it. So it's really important that kids not get dehydrated when they're sick. Um, and that they drink all of the delicious electrolyte solution to which you have added a whole cup of orange juice so it tastes yummy for them. But if you're a grown up, all you need is a little bit of lemon juice to make it more palatable and to add some of that um, potassium. And it looks like the honey has dissolved there without too much effort. And then this is ready to go. You can just get a glass here. A glass. Um, my naturopath is having me do about a half a cup of this um, just on ordinary days. So this is um, it's sweeter with honey than it is with sugar. So really, if you're making it for older kids, go ahead and use the honey. They'll think it's they'll think it's fabulous. And um, and so, I, yeah, I'm drinking a half a cup of this um, for, for some hypoglycemic symptoms um, during the day. And um, then, like I said, also I'm going to use it um, when I'm done with the fast. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, please leave me comments. I love comments. Um, and we will...
see you soon in another video. Thanks so much for watching.